Hey, buddy. Ah, check that out. Here it is. A lot of people have been asking me questions and the people on Facebook have been getting an inside uh, look at these types of things because of the pictures and whatever. But uh, I know a lot of people have been asking questions about this rig, uh, what's in the semi truck, what have we done, uh, the trailer, this whole thing. And I think it's time we start answering some questions. All right, so I don't actually use the screws uh, that connect the cab to the chassis. I'm not really doing a lot of four by fouring with it. And these have like a, 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 some indents where uh, they're like lead holes where you can actually just set the cab down on the truck. So quickly remove it. Everything worked out pretty good. On the inside, <laughs> I've got a little dude driving. Hey, how are you? Uh, I can say that we went the Savox route uh, with waterproof servos. I wanted to give it a try. I'm actually, I have a high tech here uh, only because that was a backup that I had. I will be putting another Savox in. I'm fairly interested in these waterproof servos. Uh, Tekken system, of course, what else would I use? This is a Rock 412, uh, 1200 KV brushless, hey? sensored motor setup. Now I went with that and the Gens Ace here. Let me show you a Gens Ace battery with an RS Pro Gen 2 ESC. Now the reason I went this whole way, check out this battery. 8400 from Gens Ace, 3 cell, 25C, plenty of jam plenty of weight to add to the middle of the vehicle as well. So with the RS Pro uh, Gen 2 ESC, this three cell LiPo combo and this Rock 412 uh, motor, I'm able to use the three speed transmission. Okay, I use it on the three position switch uh, to shift as it's rolling. So three gears to get the 45 pound trailer and excavator rolling. Now, yes, it is a fifth scale, or not a fifth scale, pardon me, it's not a fifth scale, it's a 1 14th scale, but a fifth wheel hookup on the back. Take this, there we go, added a little bit of grease to it. Now, everyone's gonna ask and say that I should get the MFU sound kit for this, but that's the uh, multifunction unit for the Tamiya semi trucks. I'm actually not using the MFU, I'll be using a different setup that I have. You'll see soon enough. Now hold on a second, perfect. Now that I uh, have told you about the sound kit, yes, we're gonna get that, yes, I'm gonna do some lights on this, but everything comes in time, right? I got a few projects on the go, and I love just looking at this the way it's been, but I need a light set up. Now let's check out the back trailer. I think we should see how long this entire setup is. Hmm, 62 inches, about five feet, two inches. Wow, this truck and that single motor on a three-speed transmission pulls all of this easily. And for those who haven't seen my show before, yes, this is all hydraulic. Let's, uh, let's see how fast this truck can go on a th three-speed. We're gonna have to guess. I don't have a radar gun or anything. Let's just do it for fun. Here we go, full throttle, back off shift, back off shift, like a monster. 